everybody welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for being here some of you guys have asked so I thought we would do a tour through my taping room today there's still so much to be done I feel like there's a lot of things that I want to change still some accents that I want to get like don't we need a cute little pillow for that it came with that gray one but I feel like we need a pop of color over there millions of other things I'm going to show you it's just the room that I tape in but I wanted it to have plenty of room in here so I'm just gonna walk you guys through show you where I tape show you what I've added so that we can do some try-ons that's gonna be fun so let's get into it I started this early in the day and then something happened and I slipped away for a couple hours so I came back with a little less light so we'll hope that it all goes really well but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take you off and I'm going to show you where I actually tape. I have all of my lighting on so I will do it from this perspective. Actually let's back up we can walk into the room and let me tell you right now ignore the floor. This floor we've been in this house for 30 years it has this room has been so many things. One of the things was our daughter's room at one point the carpet needs to be replaced. Hands down the carpet needs to be replaced but this is where you see me tape. This is the full shelving unit that I keep behind me. These are mostly their hair things that I want to use and there's some leftover um, Alalia, all of the things from Margot Elena that I want to use. There's tools on the left hand side you can see I've got brushes so many of those but running out I think the three you see up front are all that I have of the Daily Concepts loofahs that I love and then just a little bit of makeup kind of like I think there's some silk pillowcases down there odds and ends I haven't tried yet. That's what sits behind me. This is where I sit after I tape this, I'm getting ready to try all of that on. I'll show you how we're gonna do that in a minute. I, that's probably the thing I am most excited about in this change is that we're gonna be able to do try-ons. Also, I have a nice mint mongoose and ooh, that is something from City Beauty. Really stoked about that. That's the mirror that I can do my business in. So I'm gonna come over here and show you guys if I can get back far enough. This is what I'm looking at. So that's all of my lighting. You can kind of see out my window there. That's the window that I'm constantly staring at now, but this is my setup. This is what I am looking at. So let's go behind that. Do, do, do. <laughs> Who was it? Kimberly that says field trip, field trip. How does she get her feet way out there? Okay. Oh, let's see. Now you can see the carpet. This is my new addition. <laughs> we cleaned out this room. This is an old Longer Burger stand and it has two of the Longer Burger baskets on it. And it's totally not my style anymore. It was my style, you know, 20 years ago when it was in and I was getting ready to get rid of it. But you know what? It fit right in here really tight to my setup, which is tough to see because it is so bright back there. But it fit there with the fan and when push comes to shove we are in an upstairs you guys know it's an eaved room so it, it gets warm up here in the summer the thoughts of being able to have this right here handy for me with that fan exactly what I needed okay this is the windows that you can't see out I guess because of the light it's backlit this is my first shelving unit so it's kind of like that's that palette-ology. I really want to make that video. It's a game where you do eyeshadows. It seems like so much fun. So I have that up there in the hopes of videos to come. This is some makeup stuff that I haven't tried yet or some that I have tried but I set aside to use other things I want to get back to. I have that really big beach waver situation. Curling iron. Just waiting for summer with the baby oil. That is all... <laughs> This is all, can you guys tell? It's all beauty blenders. It's just, it's full of beauty blenders. Do love a beauty blender. I have some decor that I'm going to trade in and out. That basket that you see right there, can I pull in on it? Let's see how good I am with my camera. Wah, wah. That's my giveaway basket. You know, we just ended one at the end. A lot of people ask, how do you do your giveaways? I put them at the end of my videos because I don't want to put in the headline or anything like that. Hey, it's a giveaway guys, because I want you guys who watch my videos to get it. I don't want to draw people who have never seen the channel before and are just coming over for giveaway goodies. That is a chair that is not staying there. It goes with my dining room table set and I don't have room for it in my dining room. So it lives up here. And then this is my setup. Can I pull back now? Okay, this is my setup for all of the other stuff. Some of this stuff I have used, some I have not used. I kind of have it separated by kitcheny things, 
oh my gosh, all of the cups. I keep the cups there because the girls come in, they grab the cups, so it's good to have them around, to have lots of them. I've used that bag a couple of times, but when I'm not using it, that's as good a place to store it as anything else. Again, kitchenware things. Some of them I have used and tried, some of them I have not. That whole shelf, <laughs> that whole shelf is journal junk box. I know that seems like a lot of books. I am here to tell you it is nowhere near even half of the books that I have received. I use them. I give some to the girls, but still I have that many. But it works really great because when I put together little gift bags for people, always nice to have those. This is mostly small bags, blankets, towels, that kind of situation. Sometimes I double up on them in boxes. So some of these things you've seen in a box and then I've used, but it's come again in that same box. And I just don't bother telling you guys if I get doubles in a box. This is just miscellaneous stuff that I have tucked over here. Again, there are more bags on the bottom. I have blankets back there. This is my new area. It's a new seating area. It has this lamp. Oh my gosh, this lamp, guys. I knew I needed a lamp for up here. I'm backing up. I knew I needed a lamp for up here. I got this on Amazon for whew, less than $40, I think. It is so awesome. Here, let me get in tighter for a second to grab this. this. remote. It's a magnet. So when the girls come and go, this is just a, how awesome is that? It is such a great place for it to be. And then it has the on and off. You can make it here. You can make it more bright or less bright. Am I doing that? Yes. See how, oh, it's getting darker. But I almost always keep it on the brightest up here because for me, the more light, the better. And then you can also switch between a cool light and it has a moonlight mode. I'm not even sure what that's about. This one changes all the colors. It's just really a cool, a warm, and kind of a neutral. This has got a baby bottle on it, honestly. I'm not, oh, I'm not sure what that's for, but it has a baby bottle on it. So that maybe that's meant to be a soothing color. And that's the sunlight one. That's the one I like it on because I like it to be sunlight. But it does all of that and and it has a book one and a TV light. So many options on this. And this is a one hour timer. I, it, was, it was so inexpensive, guys. And you do have to build it. You even have to build the shade. It comes and it snaps on this wire frame. It is, oops, can I, oh, there you go. It was so easy to do. I keep the remote right on it, super handy. I love that it kind of goes over the chair. This chair, I should have had my husband come up and help me with. I got this chair so that sometimes when we're doing a more casual video, I'm gonna put my phone in a tripod. It's probably a better place for it anyway. You guys are probably getting seasick. I can't see myself in frame because I didn't take the time to turn it around. Oh, she's getting a little excited and warm. I got it so that if I just wanna come up here, do a casual video where we just sit back and talk, just to have a chat, you and me. This is somewhere we could do it. Like if I'm just doing spoilers and I don't necessarily need to be at my desk, this is somewhere we can be to do it. But the beauty of it is, and let me see if I can show you guys this. The beauty of it is you take the pillow off. Let me make sure it's in screen. All you do, let's see if I can do this, is you pull this little thing and you pull it out and you take this little handle and you lift it up and then it just kind of settles in. This 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 back part fully reclines and you have basically a twin bed so if you have a 16 year old granddaughter who would prefer to sleep in a room by herself as opposed to in with her three younger siblings there's now a place where she can be in a room all to herself and like it very much also i guess i guess we could do casual videos in here <laughs> i don't know how often that would come up but this is just I will link this all below. I love these lamps. Actually, I'm gonna show you another one that I got at the same time in the other room because I got this one because I like the way that it hung over the chair, the one that I put in the kids' room. It just goes straight up and down, but I love it. But this was so fun for in here. I looked everywhere for a chair that fit these specs, but didn't cost a billion dollars. I never needed to look anywhere but Amazon. So this will be one of our fun new taking areas. My camera's kind of on its side, so I'm wondering when I edit, the, edit this if it's going to look like we're on a ship. If it's crooked, it was me. I, I was the problem. Okay, let me get back to the camera. Actually, let me show you guys that to put it away. You then just grab that same handle, you lift it, you settle it, and you push that in. How awesome is that? 
Okay, I'm just gonna leave this on the tripod while we do the talking so it doesn't have that drunken sailor holding a camera feel. So the table next to it, I have my printer in. I have random things that I might need for a video right now. I have that really pretty picture that we got from Norley, the art, don't be jealous. The, I should take you over to that. My husband makes us keep this because my daughter made this in ceramics class in high school. So yes, guess who's baby's favorite. But those are our treasures that we have from when she was in high school. I have just purchased, and I think this will be handy for some of the stuff we're gonna do up here. I have just purchased the steamer. I will try and link that down below too. I hate ironing. Do you hate ironing? And steaming makes everything so much easier. You can just hang it from the front, or if it's pants, you can use the clips. These little clips, you can clip them here and on the bottom. Actually, I think this is backwards to how we use it. So easy, love it. Extra blankets in the corner. I'm gonna put another cupboard in the kids' room so that it'll be a place to have the extra blankets, but for now, that's kind of where they are. This. Oh my gosh, this. Let me pull back a little bit. I picked this up years ago. I can link that too. This is, I call it Catherine's Bee Closet. And it's probably a mess, so we won't get real, real involved in the inside. And pardon my casual clothes for the day, but this just unzips, and then it unzips from both sides. And it's a closet. So when it's winter, this is where my spring clothes are. And then soon, with spring, when it gets too warm for all of my winter clothes, which I kind I feel like it is today. I will bring my winter up. There are also two metal shelves down there. This holds so much weight. I have so many clothes in here. But it also has two metal shelves that I have, you know, the bags that you can take all of the air out of. I have several of those stacked down there. So come around, you can actually see into the kids' room a little bit. This area, there's not really much to do with yet. There are just some things, like we have a dehumidifier that is huge. There are just some things that we have to keep up here. So I thought I got that little, I got this from Ikea a billion billion years ago. And I thought, you know what? That would be a great place to hide everything behind it. Those are fun FabFitFun boxes that I have had forever. I think there are actually a couple calls boxes in there too. And then I have, that is a journal junk box on the top left. I keep those so that it's easy to ship my giveaways. Okay, are you ready? This is the piece de resistance. And I'm going to turn it so you're just going to see it on the tripod because, whoop, hello, it's me. We now have a area where we can try on clothes. I'm so excited. I picked up this rug on Amazon just to have something pretty to be below us. It was really inexpensive. I'll link it too. I like the way it feels. It's very soft, almost blanket-like, but it's so inexpensive. The pattern is just gorgeous on it though. Isn't that pretty? I thought it gave us a little bit of prettiness without being too distracting when I make my videos because in theory I could be like oh do you like this shirt isn't that cute this is my fit for the day <laughs> I know not much of an outfit now but this will give us the opportunity to do try-ons I'm so excited without having to worry about being in another room do we have enough light? We can try everything on right here. I am ready. Oops, I shouldn't show my feet. My husband said, be aware of your feet. There's freaks on the internet. <laughs> Men worry about different things. Anyway, then this mirror, I picked it up. I will try and find it online, but I picked this up at Home Goods, and there was no name brand on it. But see how pretty it is? It's just kind of a goldy, silvery metallic. It's not real fancy. I had thought that I wanted, I think we talked about it. I wanted the one at Sam's that was real ornate. It was ornate gold. And when I got there, it was just, it was more like that which I don't like that lamp. It lives here now just to give us extra light for this, but I will be replacing it also. But when my tripod, hold on, let's move it. Oh, it's way back here. I have no grasp of when I where I need to move things, but when the tripod is not in the way, see, we have pretty and we have pretty behind us. I'm so excited. This is what I'm most excited about. You guys know I have been wanting to do try-ons. Okay, and that just brings us right back to where I take. So from outside, I'm at the door of the room. So from outside the room, this is it now. It's very, very busy in that area right there. That's where we tape. That's where our try-on is. That's where everything else is. This room, and I don't feel like you can sense it on 
this camera, but this room is pretty darn big. To give you perspective, that rug is five by eight. I mean, it's a pretty, pretty big room. I love it. I know we've committed so much of our house to this, but I love the open area. I love that it is late in the afternoon, but I still have that much light coming in from outside. I just sit there and stare out the windows now when we're taping. I am so, so happy to have this mirror so that we can do try-ons. Like I said, I'm getting ready to do one just here in a minute. I just added, if you saw before, I did this room right before I was having the girls. I just added this rug for them. I'll show you the pattern on this one is gorgeous too these rugs are so inexpensive and i am the first one to admit when you feel them with your oh i don't won't show you my feet when you <laughs> feel them with your feet they feel kind of like a cross between a rug and a blanket this is where the carpet was the worst and it covers up everything i just love it that is an air purifier but our youngest is five and she really likes white noise when she sleeps so we keep that in here for her the cabinet i can link that again we talked about before and this is the same lamp as in the other room it does all of the same special things its remote is magnetized it too so that is awesome and then this is the kids room that's where i used to tape we have our windows. This is where most of my shelving used to be set up. We have another bed over here because there are four of them. Generally speaking, three sleep in here. And then now we can put the oldest in the room next door if we want. Thank you so much for coming and doing this walkthrough with me. I am, like I said, most excited about the fact that we're going to be... This is a horrible angle of me. Ooh. <laughs> I'm so excited that we're going to be able to do try-ons now. I'm going to do one just here in a minute. I am picking out an Easter dress slash skirt and top. It's really hard. Our spring is like it's 50, 60, 70, 50. So I kind of have to prepare for both. I don't have shoes that suit me yet, but I have ordered a couple pair. I'll show them when they come. And I have a baby shower next weekend. It's tough though, because you want to get all girly and fund up for a baby shower, but it's in a distillery. Don't get me wrong. Sounds super fun, but what to wear. So I have a few different options. We're going to tape that next. Thanks again for coming by, guys. That gives you a little insight into where I am and where I'm taping. Again, thanks so much for coming by. I appreciate all of the time that you spend here on the I channel. Link everything I talked about linking below. Some of it is with the new YouTube affiliate, probably. Those are all affiliate links. Just for the record, affiliate links do earn the channels that you purchase them through, me included, money for the channel when you purchase through them. But it just helps us with all of the boxes that we buy, all of the equipment that we buy, that kind of thing. All right, now to go get ready and to do that try on. See you in a little bit.